optimistic about the second half of the year per se. I think we have a little more of an idea of how it will play out, which is good for markets. Markets, as I noted earlier, like more certainty and don't like uncertainty. I think now the data is supportive of a Fed cut in September, which the market is favorable towards. It's why we've seen the small caps rally. I do think that it is likely that we will see a mild recession in 2025. Uh, I think the Fed is going to declare victory a little too early, um, which you know kind of voids any potential for a true soft landing. But I do think it will be mild as we've seen this economic slowdown. And I'm positioned somewhat defensively. Equities and fixed income correlations have been rising again, uh, which is uh, favorable for alternative types of products. Uh, you're also seeing dispersion in returns. So there's greater breadth to the market now. So moving away from the MAG7 and this tech focus, uh, I think is favorable for markets. And I think you'll see more breadth in the market in the second half of the year. When we discuss recessions, everybody talks about it like it's negative. Recession is a natural, healthy part of the economic cycle. Avoiding recessions just make with greater probability that you have a more serious one.